mean, this is probably the most entertaining thing that I've done. <laughs> Uh, just because they give you a little bit more character background and stuff like that. This actually has some some interesting qualities to it, which is which is exciting and fun. You're portraying an image of another world, a fantasy world, and another person. And a lot of times you're interacting with, you know, another man, and you, it's a lot. Of, you get really close. <laughs> Let's just put it that way. You get nice and close. Lots of fun on the shoot. Yeah, the guys are hot. <laughs> In each of the cover photographs, there's a specific element in the story that we're trying to pull out so that we can let the potential reader know what the story might be or what they could look forward to in reading the story. I think romance novels give you kind of the opportunity to be someone else, live in a, a fantasy world or in some other world that, that's not yours. Like keep the spark going and it's good to you know have some love in the air still these days. I might have to read the one that I'm in because <laughs> at least to know a little bit about what happened to me in the story, I think. My grandma had a lot of input to give me um, as far as like the covers, you know, that's kind of the big thing is the cover of them. She said they're always shined up and looking really really nice and sexy, so <laughs> she still wants to see it, you know, even though it's her grandson, she's kind of excited. A lot of the dresses were sourced, some of the, like, the kilt and all that um, were sourced from, like, an actual Scottish, you know, authentic Scottish shop. My biggest inspiration is really the character, I guess, for the covers. Believe it or not, it does affect knowing about their, your character's personality, their intentions, what period, what time they're from. It all plays a role on how you model even for, for a photograph. Well, I know my first guy, uh, Navy Seal, you know, he's supposed to be hard, but also sensitive and in tune with uh, the ladies. <laughs> they kind of gave me a brief idea of what the, each character was. There was like a, a morphing guy, he morphs into animals, and you know, that was kind of fun to work with. The difference between the makeup that we did today, which is a period makeup, to a normal beauty makeup is um, mainly in the pigments. It's uh, more diffused, clean. I've been in the beauty business, hair and makeup business, for over 15 years. This is by far one of the funnest shoots I've ever done. Seeing myself on a bookshelf is going to be interesting. I can't wait to see myself on a book cover. I think that's so cool. My mom is really excited to see. <laughs> so anytime you can see yourself, you know, in, in a nationally publicized book or anything like that, it's always cool. It's always fun. This was by far, I think, definitely like the sexiest photo shoot that I've done to this day that people know about. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. <laughs>